Bruce, Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 12th through to the 18th of April. Lovelies, just one announcement. I'm running a poll on the community page. Please pop over and um, vote for it. It's really important to me. It's about the Oracle deck that I have um, produced myself. I've designed it. I've put it together. It is called the What the Fuck Oracle. It is to do with the channel. Um, but the actual poll is, do I introduce it as part of the what the fuck reading and use it as the energy deck for the reading? Um, because at the moment we're on a rotation for different decks um, for the energy card. Or do I go for an app and then that app would be available free of charge to be able to pull one card a day as a top up from the channel um, have a look at what I've put on there it makes sense to me it may not make sense for anybody else and I've also put um, a thing down for suggestions and I've asked you that if you don't like either of those options and you want to suggest something then you put that in the messages below so have a look see what you think for me please like share and subscribe the channel it gets us out there it gets other people seeing what they need to see um and lovelies please remember that these are general readings they're not going to ring true for everybody but um take what you can and please go and have a look at your rising moon signs and your node sign if you know it if you don't know your birth chart Pop onto the astrology page, put, put in free um, birth chart and the astrology page will come up um, and you can go in and you can print off your actual birth chart on where everything sits. So lovelies, oh my goodness, I'm a Libra and I wasn't expecting this. Your energy this week, new career, your work focus is shifting in positive and new successful direction oh i am so excited and then we have get some exercise oh don't i know i need this as your body becomes stronger you begin to feel stronger in all ways darlings the gyms are opening up next monday i'm so incredibly that's monday the 12th so that is the day that this actually starts for and i've got plans of going at seven o'clock in the morning if they'll let me I have um, I can't wait to get back down there I've put on I took off two stone last year and I found it again lost it and found it so yeah if you're all in that kind of um, frame of reference lovelies no it's okay there's bigger and better things to be worrying about than our weight right now and if people don't like the way we look, they don't have to fucking look at us, do they? Tell them to piss off. Do you know, as a Libra, I have to say, I'm feeling more and more comfortable in my own skin the older I've got. And isn't it a shame that it's taken me to 58 to actually understand that it's okay to be me. It's okay to be overweight. It's okay to be the person I am because I'm a nice person. Um, and yeah, I, th I think I actually started the journey when I was about 53, but yeah, it's, it's a sad thing that I never felt um, this way when I was younger. Facing your fears and taking your power back. Man, oh crikey, they just want to jump out. Manifestation and wish fulfillment. Oh my goodness. Journey, where the fuck you need to be. What you can do about the situation. What's out of your hands. Facing your... Oh no, not facing your fears. Um, reconnecting to your true self. And then... Your outcome, my darling. So, what started your what the fuck? Ten of a theme is done. This is a completion of problems and issues that are now standing in your protection against anything, anything 
that tries to penetrate that circle anything can be chucked at you and you know you can deal with it you do and the new beginning that's coming in because the tens are completion the one means that you can cut out the bollocks and the bullshit and allow room for new growth to come through beautifully what a nice way to start the reading so facing your fears and taking your power back know you are a magical creature you've got innate abilities to draw energy down from the moon and the goddess you are highly intelligent highly intuitive you are well equipped to deal with just about anything that's thrown at you and you also allow the tapping to get that extra magic from the faith folk i'm getting that a lot of you are so able to do that Right in behind that, facing your fears and taking your power back. Absolutely are you magic. And then you've got the four of wands. That's going to be recognised. You've got a harvest coming in with somebody else. And I'm getting that you may not even be aware of that harvest. You may not be aware that you sowed a seed a while back. And it's been growing in the background. It's been growing in the background. And it is going to lead to party, engagement, marriage or anniversary. Somebody's going to be celebrating something mega. And everything's just going to seem really magical all of a sudden. Oh my God, can't wait to get to the 12th. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked. Darlings, why are you manifesting having an argument with somebody? Go figure. I do it all the time, actually. I kind of get somebody in my head that I'm pissed off with and I have an argument with them, knowing that I'm never going to sow that seed. But it's a way of getting it out of your system. It may be that you're having this discussion with yourself. You know the end result of where you want to be, but you're in two minds about where the fuck you need to go with it or how you're going to get there. But you are clearly asking to look towards your future. You are clearly wanting to move into calmer waters and look to the future not forgetting that the past has been difficult the past has been um full of ups and downs um but the reminiscence card would suggest that you are going to tap into something or somebody from your past and pull that energy that you had previously into the future and that energy is going to serve you well Miss sitting right behind that is the queen of pentacles now she knows how to make a business deal she really does she's not quite a ceo or a director but she really does know how to make people feel good she brings in stability abundance love and comfort she looks out over her kingdom knowing that she has offered and supported everybody in her kingdom to actually flourish um nice card for manifestation and if that's what you're doing if you, and i'm kind of getting are some of you light workers because i'm kind of getting that's exactly the energy you're putting out there although you're an air sign you're very intellectual and intuitional i am getting for a lot of you this earthy i want people to be the best they can be um you know, and I've got the know-how and the support to do that, um, the best versions of themselves, I'm getting that some of you are going to be doing that through light work, maybe even tarot, um, but yeah, healing, healing modality, um, confidence building, um, all of that sort of stuff, but I am getting that this is your wish fulfillment, and there is going to be celebrations around that, you are going to stand beautifully, you are manifesting beautifully, being the voice for others, but do not forget with that horned God, he's not just the voice for others, he is also the voice for yourself. You are also asking for a new door to open so you are able to walk away from an experience you're currently going through. Um, darlings, I am getting that with the three of a thames. That, that is something from the past that you really have worked really hard to let go of and you're still struggling to let go of it but know that you are working towards that new door opening and you will be letting go of what no longer serves you your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you've got the high priestess she is intelligent she is intuitive 
sounds just like Libra. She knows exactly what to add to that pot and when to add to it. She draws energy down from the moon and she is completely protected by the stone circle. Lovelies, you know your stuff. You know your shit. What's holding you back? Your movement, your journey is saying just fucking go for it. Why are you manifesting it? Let's go for it. New career, some exercise. Let's get focused. Let's get focused. Because look what you've got. You've got the Knight of Wands coming in, reminding you, yes, there's a destination. You've got the sun just ahead, which is the yes. But you have got a journey. And what they're reminding you to do is your projects, your plans, your people, your desires, your passions. Remember to enjoy the journey. What you can do about the situation, you have the two of wands. This tells me that you are about to leave your comfort zone in order to go out on a quest. It could be that you are exploring some different avenues of magic. And I'm not just talking about the craft as in magic. I'm talking about healing. I am talking about maybe the law of attraction, maybe um, some sort of self-improvement thing. But there is a quest that you are about to leave your comfort zone. And instead of it being scary for you, Libra, I'm getting that there's a build-up of excitement as you work on each piece that you are putting together in this jigsaw puzzle. And it's coming together and surprisingly coming together really well that you are able to go, actually, Joe, I'm really excited about this. This is something, if I could have chosen a career, this is what I would have done. Well, why, why can't you still do it? Why can't you still, why can't you just put it out there to still do it? And I'll tell you why. Because somebody's having their fucking say around you. Somebody is standing in your way. They're putting obstacles in your way. They're trying to shove their thoughts and feelings into your face and make it yours. Tell them to fuck right off. The universe don't want you to do that. They're saying we're lifting it out of your way. <laughs> okay. Like a Libra is going to take any notice of that whatsoever. Libra, you know you have got the innate attitude that you can cut anything out you want to cut out i am not getting a sense that that is you i am getting a sense that you have stood in your power and somebody has come back and gone have a load of this shit and the universe has gone oh no 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 let's lift it up let's take they've got so much good coming in they really don't need any more of this shit because that's the shit they've been putting up with forever and the universe has gone no we'll we'll deal with this We'll get what get we will get rid of it. Um, so yeah, if somebody's coming towards you like that, just keep in mind what I tell people all the time to do. If somebody is actually getting on your nerves, they're getting in your way, do a cleansing and clearing. Tell them that you love them and that you appreciate them in your head, and then wish them well on their way and send them off. Send them off. You've got too much good going on for somebody to come in and do that to you. And the universe knows that. Reconnecting to your true self. Sowing more seeds, Libra. Doing what you do best. Cutting out the bo bollocks and bullshit. Getting rid of the debris. And allowing new growth to beautifully come in. I'm getting that for a lot of you, the more that you can grow spiritually. I'm going to say all of it. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, essentially, the more as a Libra that you can grow, the more seeds that you can sow, the better you get, the better you feel each and every time. It builds your confidence, it builds your resilience, it builds your physicality. You are just really happy to just keep sowing seeds, keep planting those ideas and actioning them. You are really happy just to get on a roller coaster ride and keep doing it. You don't care that there's peaks and troughs. You just want to get somewhere where you are be just beautifully moving into your own power, your own energy. And it's not far off. So, lovelies. Sorry, I've dropped a card. Um, what the fuck is happening next? You have got the Queen of Wands. Now, this is Aries, Leo, or Sag. But this is a Queen energy, not a King energy. She's not as fierce as the King. It's not really her birthrights, but she just knows. 
oh I'm gonna go and get this I don't care I'm just gonna go and get it and you can just go and get it if you want to I'll show you how so this queen if she's not around you she's going to be part of you it's around your passions your desires um, and what it is that you want out there from projects plans and people um, and I'm getting that there is going to be a massive surge forward with this queen because she is she's a go-getter she's a go-getter and I think she's teaching you to go get whether or not um, is coming from within or from somebody else who is an actual fire sign I am getting that you are learning to go get but in go getting it doesn't mean that you get time to kind of worry about where all the money's coming from or worry about whether you're going to have the energy to do this or whether it's going to leave you feeling left out in the cold no if you've got this queen showing you the way, whether it's from within you or somebody else that's doing this with you, do not worry about the fucking semantics. Don't, because it will come around. If you start worrying about the semantics and you start manifesting, oh, I've got a problem with money, I've got this, I've got that, that was, is what you're going to get back. More problems. So stop that. You need to take yourself out of this mode. If you've gone into, if you've put yourself out in the cold for some reason, if you have decided that this person isn't beneficial to you, no, you fucked up. No, you fucked up. Because what she's saying is, come on, I can help you do this. I can help you do this. Just do it. Just fucking action it. Because all these bits that you're worried about, pentacle, home life, you know, if I give up my current career, will I be out in the car? No, you fucking won't. Just know that if you're putting out the positivity, if you're putting out the action, if you're actually inspiration, everything else will fall into place. It really will. And I'm not telling people to jack in their jobs because they're so precious at the moment. But it may be a means to the end. Your job may be the thing that helps you finance what it is that you want to do for your actual career. And she may even show you a way forward on investment in time terms rather than in finance terms that you can do easily that costs nothing. Just your time. Bottom of the deck, you're coming back triumphant, darlings. Just sit back and enjoy the journey because you're not in fucking control of it. You're not. The universe just like you're not in control. You're loving the feeling. You're loving the thought that, you know, you're surging forward at a great rate of knots. But you definitely, definitely haven't got any control over um, the ultimate outcome. Because this reading has told me that this is your destiny. This isn't something that you've got. You just haven't got. <sighs> you just haven't got a choice in this. This is your birthright. This is what you were born to do. Is come along and show other people. The way forward. To enhance other people. To be the best version of themselves. That's what you were born to do. Caution. From the uh, Whispering Woods. Tread softly. So not to disturb the wood, wood, woodland floor. Yeah, and I just got, don't poke the tiger. Is that even a saying? I just saw a tiger and a stick. And I got, don't poke the tiger. Hmm. Who's around you that's fucking stroppy? Because they're going to be the same people that's had you doubting that you can make money from this. Could be another air sign. Or an earth sign. Hope. An idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. That's better. That's what we want to hear. And that's what I feel that you've done. You've sown these seeds so long. And now you know that you really... You just enjoy sowing seeds. You, you like the outcome, but you just enjoy... Oh, I don't know what's in this pack, so let's put it in the ground and see what happens. So can I have some guidance? Sorry, knowledge, wisdom and guidance from the angels and ancestors for Libra. For this week. Oh my God, Libra. Got half the bleeding deck out. 
that came out first. These fell out afterwards, followed by that. Then they came out. Oh, there's so many here. Blimey. Okay, my darlings. And that was your first one. So, Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. I think we were saying, you know you're magical. So, unlock it and be magical. Do not hide your fucking light under a bushel. Just don't do it. Spring, see your seeds grow. We've been saying that all the way through this shapeshifter transform and unveil your gifts you are highly gifted heart guardian love and let yourself be loved when you're doing all this work with other people to make them see the best version of themselves make sure that you are seeing the best version of you mirror guardian time to reflect medicine guardian be open to healing information great teacher Learn from spiritual experiences. Snake. Shed old skin. Father Sky. Trust in the unknown. Hermit. Retreat and recharge. I think some of the message in here is that you really do need to rest up and understand that you've also got needs as well. And do you know something? The some ex get some exercise. Doesn't necessarily mean physically. It can mean mentally, emotionally, and spiritually that you need to get and exercise those things. Perhaps you've stagnated a bit. Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. Broken Arrow. I love this card. Embrace the energy of peace. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. Very difficult for an air sign, but we do like to feel that ground beneath our feet. And lastly, protection guardian, drop your shield. Do not get into the idea that protection is rejection. It isn't. It really isn't. You should not be letting things bounce off that shield that may be in your higher good. So before you do that, drop your shield and find a different way of protecting yourself. But it is definitely not rejection. So, my lovely Libras, that is your reading, 12th to the 18th of April. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe, and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.